Hey everybody, happy TNG Tuesday. It's Gianna. I don't know if it's actually Tuesday because these videos are just coming out. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, or if you are going to subscribe, please click that little bell button because like I said, Tuesday a new video comes out every single week, but during everything that's going on right now, I am putting out a bunch of new videos. So if you click the little bell button, you'll get alerted when a new video comes out. So, yay. How are you all doing? Hope that you're okay. I hope that everything is going well and going good. I'm in day four of self-isolation right now or social distancing. I don't know what the actual term is, but I haven't really left my house in four days. Um, I did go to Trader Joe's one time to stock up. We have enough food now for about two weeks. So hopefully we don't have to go out again. Things are changing day by day, minute by minute. And yeah, I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's good. Some of my videos in the coming days, coming weeks are gonna be about what's kind of going on. And some videos, like I put out two videos already, kind of talking about the state of Disney right now, the state of Cruise Line right now, but I don't want all of my videos to be so heavy. I want like some light and fun ones so you guys can watch them and kind of take your mind off of the things that are going on around you. And I just wanna do my part to kind of try and help everybody feel better, so. Yeah, it has been brought to my attention by somebody in the comments that the cultural representative program kids at Disney, so a lot of the kids that work in the World Showcase, are not getting kicked off their program, but instead they are just obviously not working at Disney until Disney opens back up again and they are not getting paid because a lot of them work through operating partners, like I talked in my last video, but I just wanted to say that they are not getting kicked off their program, the Disney College program and the International College program and all of the other programs are ending at this time, so. Thank you for commenting that and I appreciate you fact checking me because you know, sometimes I get it wrong. But anyway, there was another comment and somebody said, hey, can you make a video talking about your favorite ship in the Disney fleet? And I was like, hmm, very interesting. I do have a definitive ranking of my favorite to least favorite ship, but I got to thinking this morning about what I would wanna talk about in the video and I was like, there are so many moving parts on all the Disney ships, so many different things that you could like, not like, love. I mean, there's like very few things that I don't like, but I was thinking it would be cooler to break it down into categories, I think, and kind of talk about it that way because then it's not like the definitive, like this is my favorite, this is my least favorite, but kind of looking at it from different angles. So I was, kind of looking through some stuff this morning and I thought that the first installment of this little mini series should be all of the Broadway style shows on Disney Cruise Line. So basically I'm gonna talk about which ships have which shows and kind of my ranking of what are my favorite and least favorite and that way you won't have like a 45 minute video of me talking about Cruise Line but smaller bite sized videos of me talking about Cruise Line. Let's go for it, shall we? So each Disney ship, the Disney Magic, Wonder, Fantasy, and Dream, all have some similar shows and some different shows. So each ship has a show that's completely unique to them. They started rolling out these shows a few years ago. They've always had shows on the ship, but a few years ago they started rolling out some shows that are really next level, like things that you wouldn't expect to find on a cruise ship. So the newer shows that they have out now are Aladdin, which is the oldest of all of them, Tangled, Frozen, and Beauty and the Beast. So classic stories, of course, retold on the stage. Aladdin, of course, has been done on Broadway. Beauty and the Beast has been done on Broadway, but they're different than the shows on Broadway. The storyline is obviously very similar, but the way that they do everything from set to costumes is different on the ship because having a stage where everything has to be kind of stacked up the way that the stage works on the Disney Cruise Line is that all of the set pieces or a lot of the set pieces are on these like kind of like grooves and runners that you can pull them through so they stay in the ground so if we hit rocky water obviously these set pieces aren't going to go flying or they have to be bolted down when they get pulled up so it's very interesting the way that it all works Okay, so my favorite show of all time, we're just gonna go right out and say it, the best show on Disney Cruise Line, the reason why me and Shannon are best friends, is The Golden Mickeys. The Golden Mickeys, if you have been on The Dream or The Wonder, is just like this classic excitement show. It's like the first night of your cruise usually, and it's 
this big event, you go down to Preludes right by the shops and there's a red carpet rolled out and there's, you know, a woman there with a microphone and she's doing the interviews and talking to the guests and making everybody feel like a star. There's paparazzi lining Preludes, they're taking your photo. It's it's just a really chic way to start out the cruise. And then the show itself is incredible. And the Golden Mickeys is basically an award show. I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen it before, but it's starring one of my favorite men in Disney ever, Bob Iger. <sighs> Love him. Um, via satellite screen. And storyline is this woman, Ensign Benson. She is kind of in the background of things. She has the clipboard. She's the stagehand. She's making sure everything's going well. And because a few things go wrong, Ensign Benson sort of has to come out of her shell. And through the stories of Disney and through all these different amazing Disney characters and songs and just <laughs> starlight magic, it's like a really heartwarming tale of you know, just like coming out of your shell and doing things that are out of your comfort zone. And the show is truly incredible. It has amazing costumes, it has amazing characters and amazing songs. You can find the show on YouTube, I'm sure, but the show is very, very good. It is one of my favorites ever. So that is on The Dream and The Wonder. I wanna talk about each ship and their individual show. So when I was working on The Dream, Beauty and the Beast rolled out. It was a very big deal. We had Paige O'Hara come on board to sail. She is the original voice of Belle. It was so cool to see all of the media and all of the excitement around this show, but I am not a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. I feel like it's overdone. I feel like it's oversaturated. I feel like, okay, we got the live action. We have the cartoon. We have the Broadway show. Everything is always Beauty and the Beast all the time. So when I got to go see it and do a cast preview of it, I was blown away, like blown away. And I have a theater background. I grew up doing theater. I've seen a lot of Broadway shows. That show is really up there with a lot of the Broadway shows that I've seen in my life. The special effects are insane. And I'm not gonna say the special effects for a cruise line. The special effects, period, were insane. The transformation from the beast to a man, the way that they do things, the sets, but the best part of the show is be our guest. It is this incredible, like amazing runway fashion show with like the lettuce and the jello and the costumes and the dancing. Oh my gosh, I would go on the dream just to see Beauty and the Beast. So if you're a big Beauty and the Beast fan, the dream is where it's at. So the dream already amazing because it has the golden Mickeys, it has Beauty and the Beast. So I really do love that. So the dream is the only ship that you can see Beauty and the Beast on. The next ship that has an original show is the fantasy. It has the oldest original show, Aladdin. So that show has been running for quite a while longer than the other new shows. Dream, Magic and Wonder all got new shows within the last couple of years. Okay, so I just Googled when the fantasy opened Aladdin and I think it opened with the ship, but it does say that in May, on May 30th in 2019, they reimagined the show. So things are looking, you know, a lot more exciting now, I guess. I can't imagine how much a show like that costs and the set pieces probably take up so much of the stage for them to put in a whole new show there would just be insane, especially when Aladdin is very good. So the fantasy has Aladdin and Aladdin is, you know, good. I don't love Aladdin. I think the story is, is good and the show is good. It's just, it wasn't a wow factor for me like the other ships have a wow factor. Now moving on to the newer shows, The Wonder now has Frozen, which is amazing. If you've seen Frozen live at the Hyperion Theater in Disney's California Adventure, it's kind of a similar vibe. They do have the puppets. They do have insane ice effects happening and, and Elsa's doing snowballs and you know, all of the things. And the show is truly amazing. And again, Frozen was another one of those things that was kind of oversaturated for me. And when me and Shannon went to go see Frozen, when we were on our Alaska cruise, we were blown away. The show is very, very, very good. But I would have to say that the best show on the fleets besides the Golden Mickeys is The Magic's Tangled. Wow, that show. I keep saying that show was so good, but it was so good. The things that they do with her hair, the, the scene where her and Flynn are in the boat, 
it's just so visually stunning and there are so many like <gasps> moments with the way that they do all of the special effects. I, it really comes down to that. The three newest shows that they have, Frozen, Tangled, and Beauty and the Beast, the special effects are next level incredible. And the puppet work, it's amazing. So if you haven't been on those ships since the new shows have come out, you gotta go watch them. They are amazing and they will truly blow you away. I promise they will. Okay, The Wonder and the Magic have a show called Disney Dreams and Enchanted Classic. This show is a really, it's a, it's like the last night show. It's kind of like a heartwarming show. It's kind of that bringing your child like wonder alive. The storyline is basically like there's a young girl in her bedroom and Peter Pan comes through the window, magic ensues, right? It's a really good show and there's like cool things happening and a lot of Disney characters. I know that a lot of the kids really like to have those Disney characters, those classic Disney characters in the show. That's definitely happening in this show. The cool thing about this show is that I got to go backstage and do a backstage tour. If you guys have watched my Alaska vlogs, um, I do talk about it in that video. Unfortunately, there was no camera access backstage, but we got to go into the set, see the bedroom of the girl, and it was so cool, just like all of the little things that they had set up, like behind her bed, they had a framed photo of Zac Efron. It's just like a time capsule. It was very cool back there, so. That was amazing. It's not my favorite show, but it is very good. My favorite heartwarming show that they do have on the ships for the last night is the show that they have on the dream. And it's called Disney's Believe. And if you guys have been on the dream before, you know, like the song was like, what makes the garden grow? What makes the garden grow? I really, 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 really wanna know what makes the garden grow. So that was, yeah, me doing the show for you guys. That is about like, watching your child grow up and believing in magic as an adult. Oh, I have chills just thinking about it. That show is is also a lot of the classic Disney characters. You have Baloo in there. It's a tearjerker. And we love to have like a little tearjerker moment. It's a, it's a lot of fun. That, that show is a lot of fun. The Disney Magic also has an original show called Twice Charmed. It's a Cinderella story. I've only seen it one time and I don't remember it being anything like wildly spectacular, but I also don't remember it much at all. The show that I do remember that I, I'm so sorry if you're in this show or if you love this show, I am sorry, but this is like one that I literally cannot watch. And the only show on all of the ships that I will skip is the show on the fantasy called Disney Wishes. And it's like three kids about to graduate and then they like jump in a hole. <laughs> and they're like in Disneyland or they jump in the hole when they're already in Disneyland. It's so cheesy. It is written so horribly. Like it doesn't make you feel any type of way. It just makes you like, so I don't know if that show is going to be staying forever or what the deal with that is, but I can't with that. I really can't. I cannot see that show. It makes me highly uncomfortable. It's not a good one. And I would never tell you guys to check any of these out on YouTube because, you know, piracy is a felony punishable by law, but I would never tell you to find them on YouTube. So if I was going to give my definitive ranking on the ships based on the shows alone, my ranking would go. I would have to start with the Disney Dream because Wow Beauty and the Beast and The Golden Mickeys are just two shows you are not going to miss. They are fantastic, amazing. Second ranking is kind of hard. I want to say The Disney Wonder because it has Frozen and The Golden Mickeys, but since I picked Dream for having Beauty and the Beast and Golden Mickeys, I'm going to go ahead and say The Magic because Tangled is unreal. So The Dream, The Magic, The Wonder, and then the fantasy with that show that you just should not see if you're there. Just don't go. Go to Cabanas. Have a turkey leg. Do something else. But that's kind of almost a little telling of my ranking of the ships. It's not quite that, but it is close. So in my next episode, I'm gonna do all of the restaurants because each ship has different signature dining. And that is a huge, huge thing when you're on a cruise line is you wanna eat food, right? You wanna have good food, you wanna have good atmosphere. And Disney has bumped up their 
restaurants lately. They have the new Tiana's Place, they have the new Tangled restaurant, and so I'm gonna just talk about each of those and the food and all of my favorite things to eat and all of the things that I love about dining on Disney Cruise Line. So thank you guys so much. I hope this video helped in some way. I hope it wasn't just me being like, it's a great show, it's a great show. But truly, if you're on Disney Cruise Line, the entertainment is incredible, especially if you love Disney entertainment. And if you don't love Disney entertainment, it's still good. The talent is all there. People are so talented on those dang ships, I am telling you. So if you're on a ship, make sure you go see all the shows, unless you're on the fantasy, then maybe don't go see the show about the teenagers jumping in a hole in Disneyland. I think that's the premise. Honestly, it's all kind of blurry. But but thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.